Welcome to Linsman on 93 XRT. This week, when we answer your question, you receive a $50 gift certificate towards a pair of designer frames from Specs. Thank you, Specs. Alyssa Nickel of Chicago writes, Lynn, I was on Facebook when I noticed that my twin cousins had listed Chicago Cubs as their religious views. Is Cubs fandom a religion? Prayer, speaking in tongues, the rapture, and that's just the bleachers on a hot summer day. <laughs> Cub fans embrace a devotion that transcends the material world. We're talking about awe. We're talking about ritual. As the Muslims caravan to Mecca, as the Hindus gather on the shores of the sacred Ganges, as the Rastafarians shore up their gatherings of the sacred Ganja, Cub fans gather opening day to anoint themselves with fermented hops. We wear ceremoni ceremonial vestments of blue that identify us as believers. This is an ecumenical communion. From all walks of life, from all backgrounds, Cub fans are accepted by their knowledge of the liturgy. Banks, William, Santa, we teach our children. We teach them the significance of 1908, the majesty of Wrigley Field. Why is today different from all other days? This is the opener. This is the day we sanctify ourselves in the house of the Holy Cow. We know non-believers will not understand, nor will they offer us peace or comfort. We are the outcasts of the sports world. We endure mockery and derision. They ask, where is your God now? Our psyche bleeds like martyrs. Throughout history, infidels have desecrated temples. Every year, our baseball stadium is threatened by the secular hordes who use history and tradition as a scapegoat. It's like they say in Rome. That Vatican will never win anything as long as they have that St. Peter's. <laughs> The ceiling of the Sistine Chapel is like almost a thousand years old. You stick an LED jumbo screen in that ceiling and you'll start bringing some real money into this place. <laughs> Cub fans understand the most profound gift of their fervor. Something that only the mo most mystically minded of us can ever apprehend. The same gift offered by every cosmic vision of the human condition. The Kabbalah, the ascent of Mount Carmel, the Bhagavad Gita. Listen to the god Krishna addressing the warrior, not farewell, but fair forward voyager. We're talking about faith. Faith. Is Cub fandom a religion? If it is, it is a religion without cardinals. It's not about a year, century, or saber metrics, or whether ivy on walls offends your practical genius. Is Cub, fandam, Cub fandom a religion? In the past 28 years, I've been to Wrigley Field 794 times. I've been to church 11. <laughs> If we are judged by what we do, it's a little more than a religion. And if the Cubs install a jumbotron that can give us five minutes of TV commercials between every half inning and raise more money for more expensive players, you know, like Alfonso Soriano and Carlos Marmol. And then it turns out the Cubs don't win the World Series. Will we be then permitted to tear that golden calf down and lift our voices in song in that most sacred opening day hymn. I want to wake up in the fall and see the Cubbies playing ball. This is Lynn's Bin on 93. <laughs> Thank you.